I am Minister Nathan, and today we are going to be celebrating the life of Adobe Flash. Let's begin. Adobe Flash was born January 1st, 1996, the start of a new year and the start of a new era. We will start the visitation talking about one of the first Flash games, personally, I remember playing. And it might be the greatest Flash game of all time. Spank the Monkey, uh, drastic change in mood, might I say. Spank the Monkey, I think, was the first Flash game I ever played. It was either that or Interactive Buddy. Uh, I remember coming home from school, watching Reba, and then going to the computer and just smacking the ever-living hell out of a balloon monkey for just hours on end. There's no reason, there, there's no reason why Spank the Monkey was so fun. Like even like when I was doing research for this video, I played it and I caught myself playing it for a good 15 minutes. I, there's just something really satisfying about taking the cursor and just like, whap, like just beating the fuck out of that stupid little monkey. While I was doing research for this video, I found so many Flash games that I would play so much of, but since it was so long ago, I had entirely forgotten that they exist. I would have never remembered me playing Super Crazy Guitar Maniac 3 for way too long. I, you could have even done that like Harry Potter, uh, Snape, uh, the memory jizz thing whatever and that that memory would have been at the very bottom of the bowl the first flash game website i remember playing was addicting games yeah i went on homestar runner a whole bunch but we'll talk about flash video another time that's that's a whole fucking another thing the fucking memories i had on addicting games we're talking fancy pants 2 adventure kitten can territory war these are the memories that forged the mind of a young Nathan Dunn. I, and, and eventually, as I, as I kept growing, my hunger for playing more Flash games grew stronger. And that's when I stumbled across some of the glorious titans of Flash gaming. Stickpage.com, Stickpage Games, whatever the fuck they call themselves. Crazy Monkey Games, Mini Clip. Armor Games, which I'm pretty sure I've never actually been on ArmorGames.com. Some games were created with the sole purpose of being able to have a different experience every time you play, and others were hide the fart. And uh, amazing thing about Flash games were they were able to make sometimes the impossible seem cool and badass, like stick figures. What was up with stick figures for? For all of my childhood, why were stick figures so cool? Flash animators, game developers were able to take something so simple and make it so cool and have such like awesome dynamic animation to it. Like they made it so goddamn complex for no fucking reason. I would be a dummy if I didn't talk about stick page games. So let's talk about stick page. Let's let's talk about stick figures for a second. Let's start with a classic that I played a lot, Electric Man 2. And here's the fucking thing. I have never played Electric Man 1, nor have I ever even seen Electric Man 1. Where is Electric Man 1? I've I've tried. I've looked. I I don't know where the fuck it is. If you can find Electric Man 1, please let me know in the comments. Please don't link a Rickroll. The the stick figure like game, the stick figure phase of the internet spawned so many awesome games. We have Stick RPG, we have Stick War, Territory War, Stick Arena, and Ragdoll Avalanche, which the Ragdoll era of games. You guys remember playing a bunch of Ragdoll games for no reason? Before we move on to one of the biggest Flash games of my childhood. Let's give some honorable mentions. Fucking that Lilo and Stitch sandwich game. Uh, that was an awesome game. I remember playing that. There was that, I can't, I can't fucking remember the name of it. 
but I can find a single screenshot of it because that's all I remember. There was that one Ben 10 Flash game where it was like a top-down uh, scroll, uh, hack and slash kind of game. The world's hardest game, the impossible quiz, any sort of trick your brain quiz or games that were just hard for no reason. Obviously, I'm going to shout those out. Age of War, come on. Age of War, baby, that game was fucking awesome. Sandbox game. And finally, the game, the number, one of the number one games just lives in my mind rent free. Holy shit, this game was fucking awesome. And that game is, of course, Line Rider. But holy shit, that, that game was just ah, chef's kiss. Those games just had like a, a je ne sais quoi about it, you know? There was, there was just something that, something about those games that was just so satisfying. Yeah, I mean, sure, I could never sync up in the Hall of the Mountain King. I would mostly just make one red line and see how far I could catapult that poor ass penguin. Or I would draw like a butt cheek and have him launch out of it like a turd, you know? Like, I would do dumb stuff, but damn it, if that didn't feel fucking good to have that perfect loop-de-loop. -loop. Why don't we talk about our line rider maps more often? Don't tell me about your dreams and aspirations. Tell me about, tell me what kind of line rider map you'd make. That's, that's my vibe check right there. I'm sure you yourself are sad that Adobe Flash is going away. Sure, we're gonna have HTML5, but it's not the same, you know. Well, thank you for coming to the visitation. Um, there will be coffee and donuts in the break room. <laughs> if you like what I do on this channel, please leave a like and subscribe. I do videos, I think just bi-weekly now, I think. It's all, it's all I can do. It takes a lot of, it takes a lot of time to make these videos, guys. Holy shit. <laughs> um, well, anyway. Bye.